Welcome. Are you familiar with the well-researched concept of the older you get, the faster time goes by? With every trip that we make to the Philippines, that physiological factor holds more true every time we come and go. I mean, it seems like we just get here and get settled in, and it's time to start packing again. It is, after all, a choice that we made over seven years ago now, but the time that we spend here seems to evaporate really quickly these days. Today we are coming at you from the top of the tallest restaurant in Calbayog City, the Red Iron Hotel and Restaurant. Recently opened since the pandemic, it is now one of three eateries in the city with a view, along with the West Prime Hotel and the older Bay Park Hotel, which opened about six years ago. The first so-called luxury hotel to open in Calbayog City was the Siriaco Hotel and Resort, located just over two kilometers south of the downtown area. And in a recent video, I pointed out how the Siriaco's maintenance had been deferred, and now that hotel looks very uninviting. I cannot speak on the condition inside, as it's been years since we've eaten there, but can the outside offer some clue? I'm not sure. Of the three high-rise hotels I mentioned earlier, the West Prime Hotel and the Red Iron Hotel are both within walking distance of Calbayog's biggest attraction. Or you could get there in style using one of the many inexpensive pedicabs available. Or if you really feel like splurging, take a trike. During our stay this trip, we made our rounds to some of our favorite places to eat, including the Red Iron. Just prior to leaving Samar, we spent much of our last week eating out, meeting up and saying our goodbyes over meals with friends and family. This day, though, was meant for a big meal and a few margaritas. But, out of stock, out of stock. But the beer looks good. Yakisoba is out of stock. Kusyon. Kunak bit out of stock. Uh, so I'm going with chicken stew. That's what they call a Calbayag, Calbayag classic margarita. Cheers. Okay? Yeah. Joel, I didn't get no pictures of fish. <laughs> it's been demolished. Only, only a head is left poor, over. Poor guy. Everything is gone. <laughs> it's okay. We're happy with it. But we get, we're happy with our food. Everything is gone. Yeah. <laughs> Margaritas are gone. Beer is gone. <laughs> food is gone. <laughs> we're happy. So your, your your game on the internet is with Boris Spassky. Boris Spassky. Spassky Banks. Spassky. S P A S S K Y. Banks. B A N K S. And it'll come up. It'll come we'll, up. We'll make sure. We'll make sure to tune it in. Okay. Tune it in. It says Canada 1971. Canada 1971. With all your chess. Currently yeah. living in Leyte, in Takloban and Leyte, teaching chess, or used to teach chess. The next morning we found ourselves eating breakfast at the West Prime Hotel before we visited the mall to stock up on cat food. restaurant is so nice but they just don't know how to cook eggs. 
I wrote it over easy. If I say sunny side up, I said over easy. If I want my eggs cooked right, I gotta go to Terry's Kitchen. Yep. I will be satisfied at Terry's Kitchen. Yes. Oh, we'll go there later. How's that? <laughs> and as usually is the case, jam is out of stock, so it's honey for my toast. As is typical while living in many places in the Philippines, when uh, you find something in stock, you stock up because it may not be there next week or next month. In the case of cat food, our cats are picky and uh, they don't like it when they run out of food. So we're gonna stock up. All right, so I get to the store, to the mall, and I need to go to the fourth floor. Only one escalator is working. All the rest of them are not. Did I mention there's no air conditioning in the mall? Thank goodness for the big ass fan company. And just two days later, we were back at the West Prime Hotel for a going away luncheon with the family. Because they all do a lot for us while we are away, we show our appreciation whenever we can. We started Calbayag at around 1 p.m. and arrived in Manila about an hour later. Because our flight to Guam was not until 10 p.m. this evening, we just needed a place for a long nap. And this budget little transient hotel at the Salem Complex in Pasay was just what we needed. It was small, but comfortable. It was cheap, and it made for a hot shower and a long nap. If you're ever in Manila for less than half of a day, and you would like some place just to lay your head and rest, then there are a good number of transient houses around the airport that are inexpensive and convenient to get to. Personally, I can't see spending a lot of money on a place where I'm going to have my eyes closed 95% of the time anyway. Like I've always said, a good working air con and a hot shower is all I need. Some of you might have heard me mention this before, about getting a sweetest massage by a Korean masseuse at a Thai massage parlor while listening to Japanese folk music followed by a cup of hot Chinese tea in Manila. Yep, this is that place. After our massage, we'd enjoy a couple cocktails at the Uno Lounge here at the Salem Complex and take another short nap before heading back to the airport for our three and a half hour flight back to Guam. We would be home in time for breakfast and another long nap would probably be in store. <laughs> 